President, recently there has been a lot of attention given um, to sexual assault reporting at the university. I know that you have addressed this on campus. Can you share with us what you have said in these meetings? Yes, what I've said is first and foremost, our primary concern is the safety and well-being of our students. That's particularly true for those who have been the victims of sexual assault. They've been through a traumatic experience. They're vulnerable. They're looking for help. And we ought to provide that. That's the primary focus of a Title IX process. That's what we want the primary focus to be in that process as well. I've also said that we have something else on campus that helps promote an environment that's safe and contributes to the well-being of our students, and that's the Honor Code. We recognize that there's some tension between those two, that there are some victims of sexual assault, again, those who, who are vulnerable already, who already may feel like they don't want to come in, they don't want to talk about it, and that sometimes the fear of what's going to happen may keep them from coming in. And there is that tension and there's a perception. What we want to do is minimize that as much as possible because our primary concern, again, is really over the, the, the well-being of the, of the victim of, of sexual assault and the overall well-being of the campus. And I know that a study has been initiated under your direction. Can you tell us a little bit, a little bit about what that study will involve? Yeah, that study really is to help us determine how we can best use those tools we have, the Title IX process and the Honor Code process together. So we'll look at things like the structural organization within the university, about whether and how information is shared and under what conditions, and also the relationship between the, the Title IX office and the Honor Code office. We're not perfect. We don't claim to be perfect. We can be better. And we, this is important enough that we owe it to the community to say this is the very best that we can do. And we've thought it through and we've studied it through and here's the changes that we're going to make. If you had the opportunity to sit down with a student who is a victim of sexual assault, what would you tell that student? First and foremost, I would say that the victim of sexual assault is never responsible for the, sec for the sexual assault. You're not at fault. And then I would say, come in and get the help that can be provided. How would you respond to those who are saying that the university is not taking this issue seriously? I would say we have a zero tolerance policy for sexual violence and perpetrators of sexual violence, period. If there's one thing that's clear about the Honor Code, it is that, that if there is a finding of, that one of our students has been the perpetrator of sexual violence, there will be Honor Code action. At the conclusion of this study, what is your hope? What do you hope will be accomplished? I hope we have a system that people feel like they can trust, particularly, again, the victims of, of sexual assault, and that we have one that creates an environment in which we minimize the number of sexual assaults on campus. That's really what we hope to have happen. Part of that is to have a system that makes absolutely clear that there is zero tolerance for sexual assault on campus, and then create overall an environment in which it, students can feel safe, in which they can flourish in this wonderful opportunity they have to be at, at a university with all the opportunities that come with that.